Hi, good afternoon. I'm Sprite, and we're here for the Scarecrow 15 disinfecting unit. I'm just talking about how we're actually going to go about changing the air filters to start with and the carbon filter. Then we're going to go in and how we dismantle the unit and change the UV bulbs. So, to save time, I've got my Allen key, it's just under one mil. And on the side, I've taken it actually off. What we've got here is a covering plate and two Allen screws, which I've pre-done and taken off at the same time. And there's a little sign, it's just talking about beware, making sure the unit is switched off, which we have. We've taken the lead out. Just a finger, just gently lift up and just pull gently out. And we can start seeing the filters. We would see, initially, if this has been running, we would see some dust and debris at this part. This is for the first part of the actual, just getting rid of any dust particles and others before it actually goes into the charcoal filter. And then we have the HEPA filter. So these should last at least six to 12 months. This is the part that you can clean, wash when you find that you've got uh, dust particles or you know, quite a bit of debris on it. And you can on this side, give that a light vacuum. But under no circumstances do you really want to touch or do anything with the HEPA filter. Because of course, we don't know what's in that HEPA filter if we're actually in an environment where we've got viruses. So that's the first part. Putting it back is exactly the opposite. Putting it together. Slotting it in, and then you'll just push it straight into the unit, like that. So I'll leave that out at the moment, because we're then going to the second part of what we're actually looking at doing. There is a few screws on the top with the same size Allen key. We have these, so we have four of these on the top of the unit. that I've done that so I've taken it now we lift it off you can now see two of the fans that are actually sucking the air through and we have a little switch here it's just a safety switch making sure the unit won't switch on unless it's got weight of that piece of metal that I've just taken off second part then once we've taken the four little allen screws off is we've got two larger screws on the back here which I've pre taken off and then the piece will actually just lift up. So we just gently lift it up and on out of the unit. And that shows us the back. We now can see that we've got a fully encased in metal to protecting us from the UV bulbs. So we've got four UV bulbs in here. Once again, to save time, I've taken most of them off. We've got one, two, and two on the other side of just these nuts. For the washer, these would obviously be a bit tighter than this finger tight. So all of them are off and it will just slide out. So I'll just gently slide the protection cover off. Quite heavy. And now we can see the unit in all its glory. For the UV lamps, we can actually, if we come down, we can actually have a look how the air's been sucked through the filters. Then the, we've got a coaxial fan that's then bringing the airflow up through the units. And then we've got the two fans here that are then helping suck the air and then expelling it back into our indoor environment. Now, if we're going to change these lamps, normally what we'll be doing, this would be a 12 month um, situation. I'd have four lamps ready to go and you would basically from that it's just a twist and pull so gently on the unit you're just having to twist the unit you'll feel it you'll feel a click and they just pull out so as simple as that so with that bulb as well remember it has got mercury in it we can't just throw that away to a normal domestic rubbish we actually have to make sure that we're putting that into a certified dangerous goods mercury Place. And most uh, commercial 
facilities will have that for you. So if, if we are doing it, we've got to dispose of it properly. Anyway, so the new one, we pretend it's come out of the box. It's just a matter of sliding the unit back in. And just a slight twist, click, and we're away. So that would be through the four units. And then once we've done that, of course we can't start the unit up because this UV light will fry you. So we've got to put everything back together and then test the unit. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at that, seeing what we're doing. And the uh, inside of the unit is uh, very robust. But the good news is these bulbs and everything will last a long time. Thanks for watching.